Top 20 Celebs Who Left Fame Behind Have you ever wondered what happens when the bright lights of fame fade? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating stories of 20 celebrities who walked away from Hollywood's spotlight. From beloved child stars to leading actors, these celebs traded fame for personal fulfillment, choosing quieter paths. Stay tuned as we reveal why they stepped back and what they're doing now. You might be surprised. Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn, an enduring icon of classic Hollywood, is best known for her roles in Roman Holiday, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and My Fair Lady. Her elegant, timeless performances earned her critical acclaim, including an Oscar, a BAFTA, and a Golden Globe for Roman Holiday. Despite her remarkable career, Hepburn gradually stepped away from acting in the late 1960s after the birth of her second child, choosing to prioritize her family life. By 1970, she had shifted her focus away from the screen, appearing only sporadically in films. Hepburn's later years were defined by her humanitarian efforts. As a UNICEF ambassador, she traveled extensively to raise awareness for children in need, visiting countries like Ethiopia, Turkey, and Vietnam. Her compassion and advocacy for the less fortunate became a hallmark of her legacy. She famously said, As you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself, the other for helping others, emphasizing her deep commitment to philanthropy. In recognition of her humanitarian work, Hepburn was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, cementing her status as more than just a beloved film star. She retired from Hollywood at a time when the Golden Age was ending, embracing a more private, peaceful existence focused on family and giving back. Audrey Hepburn's legacy remains one of grace, compassion, and dedication to both her craft and the world. Cary Grant. Cary Grant, one of the most iconic leading men of Hollywood's golden age, captivated audiences with his charm, wit, and versatility. Known for his performances in classic films like North by Northwest, The Awful Truth, and Bringing Up Baby, Grant seamlessly blended humor with sophistication, making him a favorite in both romantic comedies and suspenseful thrillers. His collaboration with directors like Alfred Hitchcock further cemented his status as a screen legend. Despite his extraordinary success, Grant made the surprising decision to retire from acting in 1966 at the height of his career. His decision was largely motivated by the birth of his daughter, Jennifer. Grant prioritized fatherhood over fame, famously stating, I've been acting all my life. Now I want to be a father. His desire for a quieter life reflected a deep change in his values, distancing himself from Hollywood's evolving landscape. After retiring, Grant shifted his focus to business, becoming a director at companies like Fabergé and MGM. His frequent travels to Monaco to visit his close friend, Grace Kelly, further emphasized his move away from the public eye and toward a more personal, fulfilling life. Though he stepped away from acting, Cary Grant's legacy remains untouched. His effortless style, comedic timing, and lasting impact on the film industry ensure that his place as a Hollywood icon will endure for generations. Frankie Muniz Frankie Muniz rose to fame as a child star in the early 2000s, best known for his role as Malcolm in the hit TV series Malcolm in the Middle. His portrayal of the highly intelligent yet socially awkward Malcolm made him a household name, leading to starring roles in films like Big Fat Liar and Agent Cody Banks. By the time the series ended in 2006, Muniz had become one of the most recognizable young actors of his generation. However, at the peak of his acting career, Muniz made the unexpected decision to step away from Hollywood. His passion for race car driving drew him into a completely different field, where he pursued professional racing. Muniz competed in various racing series, including the NASCAR Xfinity series, and he expressed his desire to show his future children that pursuing one's dreams is crucial. In addition to racing, he explored other personal interests, including music, 
by managing a band called Astro Lasso, and even ventured into business by co-owning a specialty olive oil shop in Arizona. Despite his move away from the entertainment spotlight, Muniz made a brief return to television with an appearance on Dancing with the Stars. Yet he remains committed to living life on his own terms, focusing on personal fulfillment over the pressures of fame. Muniz has often reflected on his choice to leave Hollywood, stating that stepping away allowed him to appreciate life in new and meaningful ways. His journey highlights the importance of personal growth and following diverse passions, even after great success. Rick Moranis Rick Moranis, a beloved comedic actor from the 1980s and early 1990s, became famous for his memorable roles in iconic films like Ghostbusters, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Spaceballs. Known for his quirky humor and lovable characters, Moranis quickly became a fan favorite, delighting audiences with his unique brand of comedy. However, his career took an unexpected turn in 1997 when he decided to step away from acting to focus on his family after the tragic death of his wife, Anne Belsky, from cancer in 1991. Moranis' decision to leave the limelight was driven by his commitment to raising his two children as a single parent. While he largely retired from live-action roles, Moranis remained active in the industry by lending his voice to animated films, such as Brother Bear. In a rare 2015 interview, Moranis reflected on his choice, explaining that his life had taken a different direction and that he had no regrets, saying... I took a break, which turned into a longer break. Although he stayed away from the spotlight for over two decades, Moranis made a brief and highly anticipated return in a 2020 commercial alongside Ryan Reynolds for Mint Mobile. Additionally, fans were thrilled to learn that he would reprise his role as Wayne Selinsky in an upcoming sequel to Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, titled Shrunk marking his first live-action film in over 20 years. Moranis' story is one of prioritizing family over fame, and despite his long hiatus, his charm and comedic legacy continue to resonate with fans, proving that his influence in Hollywood remains strong. Gene Hackman Gene Hackman, a legendary figure in American cinema, built an extraordinary career with his powerful performances across a wide range of genres. Known for his intense roles in films such as The French Connection, for which he won an Academy Award, and Unforgiven, Hackman consistently showcased his ability to bring complex characters to life. His portrayal of Lex Luthor in Superman further solidified his versatility as both a dramatic and comedic actor. Despite his incredible success, Hackman made the decision to retire from acting in 2004, following his final role in Welcome to Mooseport. His choice to leave Hollywood was driven by a desire for privacy and a slower-paced life. Hackman redirected his creative energy into writing, becoming a novelist after his retirement. He has since co-authored several historical fiction novels, proving that his talent extended far beyond the screen. Throughout his career, Hackman was known for his preference for staying out of the public eye, avoiding the typical celebrity lifestyle. He often expressed that he never sought stardom, but rather aimed to be a great actor. This attitude, combined with his immense skill, earned him respect and admiration from both audiences and his peers. Now enjoying a quiet life away from Hollywood, Hackman's influence on the film industry remains profound. His body of work continues to inspire actors and filmmakers alike, and his decision to retire at the peak of his career further underscores his dedication to living on his own terms. Gene Hackman's legacy as one of the greatest actors of his generation is firmly secured even in his absence from the screen. Mara Wilson Mara Wilson, a former child star, became widely recognized for her roles in beloved films like Mrs. Doubtfire and Matilda. Her charming performances, particularly as the endearing and intelligent Matilda, made her a fan favorite in the 1990s. Despite her success at a young age, Wilson found herself growing disenchanted with the pressures of Hollywood as she entered her teenage years. 
By the early 2000s, Wilson made the decision to step away from on-screen acting. She cited her dissatisfaction with the industry, particularly the lack of creative freedom and the overwhelming expectations placed on young actors. Wilson sought to redefine her life outside of the spotlight, focusing on personal growth and creative endeavors that resonated with her. In the years following her departure from Hollywood, Wilson pursued her passion for writing. She authored a memoir, Where Am I Now? True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame, in which she candidly reflects on her experiences as a child star and her decision to leave the industry. She has also written plays, including Sheeple, which was showcased at the New York International Fringe Festival. Although Wilson has distanced herself from the fame of her acting career, she occasionally lends her voice to animated projects, such as her role in BoJack Horseman. Her journey has been marked by a dedication to mental health and personal well-being, inspiring others to seek fulfillment beyond societal expectations. Mara Wilson's story stands as a testament to the importance of finding one's own path and living authentically, even after achieving early success. Jack Gleason Jack Gleason, best known for his chilling portrayal of King Joffrey Baratheon in HBO's Game of Thrones, achieved worldwide fame for his unforgettable performance as one of television's most hated characters. His role as the cruel young king left a lasting impression on viewers, and Gleason's talent in bringing such a complex villain to life was widely praised. Despite the immense success and recognition that came with Game of Thrones, Gleason made the surprising decision to step away from acting once his time on the series ended. In interviews, Gleason explained that he no longer found acting enjoyable, saying that he had been in the profession since he was a child and wanted to pursue other passions. His decision to retire from acting at such a young age caught many by surprise, but it reflected his desire to live a life outside of the intense spotlight of fame. After leaving Hollywood, Gleason pursued his academic interests, enrolling at Trinity College Dublin, where he studied philosophy and theology. He has since expressed a deep interest in intellectual and personal growth, favoring a quieter existence away from the celebrity culture that surrounded him during his acting career. Gleason has occasionally returned to the stage in smaller, low-profile theater productions, but he remains largely out of the public eye. Jack Gleason's story is one of self-reflection and prioritizing personal happiness over continued fame. By stepping away from the industry at the height of his success, he has shown that sometimes fulfillment comes from living a life grounded in passion and intellectual curiosity rather than in the pursuit of stardom. Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. rose to prominence in the late 1990s and early 2000s, becoming a heartthrob for his roles in romantic comedies like She's All That and the Scooby-Doo live-action films. His charm and boy-next-door appeal made him a favorite among teen audiences, and he quickly became one of the most recognizable young actors of his time. However, despite his early success in Hollywood, Prince Jr. decided to step away from the spotlight as a leading man in films. Rather than chasing stardom, Prince Jr. shifted his focus toward other creative endeavors. He explored voice acting, lending his talents to projects like Mass Effect 3 and Star Wars Rebels, showcasing his versatility beyond on-screen roles. Additionally, he pursued his passion for cooking by co-authoring a cookbook and developing his skills in the culinary world. Prince Jr. also expanded his career into production and direction, working behind the scenes for WWE, a move that allowed him to stay connected to the entertainment industry while exploring different aspects of it. He has spoken openly about his desire to pursue creative projects that bring personal fulfillment rather than focusing solely on fame. While he still occasionally appears in films and television, Freddie Prince Jr. now enjoys a much quieter public presence, having found a balance between his career and personal life. His transition from teen idol to multi-talented creator reflects his commitment to following his passions and redefining success on his own terms. Dylan Sprouse Dylan Sprouse, alongside his twin brother Cole, 
gained widespread fame as a child actor, starring in the Disney Channel hit series The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. This show, along with its spin-off The Sweet Life on Deck, made the Sprouse twins household names, beloved by young audiences around the world. Despite his success in Hollywood at a young age, Dylan took a different path from his brother Cole, who continued acting by stepping away from mainstream entertainment to pursue other passions. After finishing his time on Disney Channel, Dylan attended New York University's Gallatin School of Individualized Study, where he earned a degree in video game design. His interest in technology and design showcased his desire to explore creative fields outside of acting. During his college years, Sprouse also cultivated a passion for brewing, which led him to open his own meadery in Brooklyn, New York, called All Wise Meadery. This entrepreneurial venture reflects his shift toward business and craftsmanship. Though he stepped away from the Hollywood spotlight, Dylan hasn't entirely left acting behind. He has taken on roles in independent films, preferring smaller, more artistically driven projects over large-scale productions. His career choices highlight his belief in pursuing what brings personal fulfillment rather than chasing fame. Dylan Sprouse's journey illustrates that success can be found in many forms, from acting to business. His decision to follow his diverse passions, whether through video game design, brewing, or selective acting roles, reflects a commitment to authenticity and creative exploration. Daniel Day-Lewis Daniel Day-Lewis, one of the most revered actors of his generation, is celebrated for his intense method acting and transformative performances. Known for his deep immersion into roles, he earned three Academy Awards for Best Actor, a record-setting achievement for films like My Left Foot, There Will Be Blood, and Lincoln. His ability to fully inhabit his characters set him apart, making each of his performances unforgettable and critically acclaimed. Despite his incredible success, Day-Lewis was known for taking long breaks between roles, often disappearing from the public eye to live a more private life. His dedication to his craft was matched by his desire to remain out of the limelight, a contrast to the usual celebrity lifestyle. In 2017, after completing his role in Phantom Thread, Day-Lewis announced his retirement from acting, citing a personal decision to explore life beyond his career in cinema. Throughout his career, Day-Lewis was highly selective about his projects, choosing roles that allowed him to challenge himself artistically. His method acting was so intense that he famously stayed in character for the entirety of his film shoots, even adopting the behaviors and physical conditions of the characters he portrayed. This approach earned him immense respect from peers and fans alike. Since his retirement, Day Lewis has kept a low profile, preferring a life of privacy over the constant demands of fame. His departure from acting marked the end of an era for many film enthusiasts, as his unique talent and approach to his craft left a lasting legacy in the film industry. Daniel Day Lewis's decision to step away at the height of his career only adds to the mystique of his legendary status. Shirley Temple Shirley Temple, one of the most iconic child stars in Hollywood history, captivated audiences during the Great Depression with her infectious charm, singing, and dancing. Her performances in over 40 films, including classics like Curly Top, Bright Eyes, and Heidi, made her a symbol of hope and joy in a difficult time. With her golden curls and bright smile, she became the top box office draw in America during the 1930s, earning the adoration of millions. However, as Temple grew older, she transitioned away from her acting career. At the age of 22, she officially retired from film and shifted her focus toward public service and diplomacy. Her second career was as remarkable as her first, as she became deeply involved in politics. In 1969, Temple was appointed as a U.S. delegate to the United Nations, advocating for important causes like refugee rights and environmental protection. Her diplomatic career continued to flourish, leading to significant roles such as U.S. Ambassador to Ghana in 1974 and later to Czechoslovakia during the Velvet Revolution in 1989. 
Temple's contributions to diplomacy earned her the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1988, recognizing her extraordinary work in public service. Shirley Temple's journey from beloved child star to accomplished diplomat is a testament to her intelligence, resilience, and dedication to making a difference. She showed the world that there is life beyond the spotlight and used her fame to fuel a meaningful and impactful second career. Her legacy endures not only in the hearts of those who loved her films, but also in the world of public service, where she made a lasting contribution. Bridget Fonda Bridget Fonda, a member of the renowned Fonda acting dynasty, rose to prominence in the 1980s and 1990s with standout roles in films like The Godfather Part Three, Single White Female, and Jackie Brown. Known for her versatility, Fonda played a wide range of characters, earning praise for her performances in both dramatic and action-packed roles. Her striking presence and talent made her a prominent figure in Hollywood during that period. Despite her success, Fonda made the unexpected decision to step away from acting in the early 2000s. In 2002, after starring in Kiss of the Dragon, she quietly retired from Hollywood, preferring a life outside the public eye. Fonda's decision to leave acting was influenced by her desire for privacy and a more peaceful existence. In 2003, following her marriage to composer Danny Elfman, she focused on her family and personal life, distancing herself from the pressures of stardom. Fonda's retreat from the spotlight became more pronounced after she was involved in a serious car accident in 2003, which left her with a fractured vertebra. While she made a full recovery, the experience likely reinforced her preference for a quieter, more private life. Since her departure from acting, Bridget Fonda has kept a low profile, choosing to dedicate herself to family and a life away from the glitz of Hollywood. Her decision reflects a deep personal choice to prioritize well-being and loved ones over fame, illustrating that even at the height of success, one can step back to live a more balanced and fulfilling life. Though no longer in the public eye, her legacy as a talented actress remains strong. Steven Siegel. Steven Seagal, known for his action-packed films and martial arts skills, became a prominent figure in Hollywood during the late 1980s and early 1990s. His roles in films like Above the Law, Hard to Kill, and Under Siege showcased his unique blend of martial arts expertise and on-screen charisma. Seagal's tough guy persona, combined with his real-life black belt in Aikido, made him a standout star in the action genre during his peak. However, Siegel's career began to wane by the late 1990s, with many of his films going straight to video. His presence in Hollywood diminished as he pursued other interests outside of acting. Siegel's political connections became more prominent in the 2010s, particularly his surprising close ties with Russia. In 2016, he was granted Russian citizenship by President Vladimir Putin, a move that raised eyebrows given Siegel's previously high-profile Hollywood status. In 2018, Siegel was appointed as a special representative of Russia to the United States, further cementing his involvement in international diplomacy. Although his involvement in Russian politics generated controversy, Siegel has remained largely out of the film industry in recent years, shifting his focus to other ventures, including music and activism. His political affiliations and engagement with global issues have overshadowed his film career, marking a significant shift in his public image. Phoebe Cates Phoebe Cates, a teen idol of the 1980s, is best remembered for her roles in classic films such as Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Gremlins. Her performance as Linda Barrett in Fast Times, particularly her memorable pool scene, cemented her as a pop culture icon. Cates' charm and Girl Next Door appeal made her a favorite among audiences, and her work in both comedy and drama showcased her versatility as an actress. Despite her success, Cates chose to step away from Hollywood in the mid-1990s to focus on her family. In 1989, she married actor Kevin Kline, and the couple had two children. 
Kate's made the decision to prioritize motherhood over her acting career, stating that being present for her family was more important to her than the demands of Hollywood. This shift allowed her to live a quieter life, away from the pressures of the entertainment industry. In the years following her departure from acting, Kate's ventured into business by opening a boutique in New York City called Blue Tree. The store reflects her personal style and artistic taste, allowing her to remain connected to a creative outlet while staying away from the spotlight. Though she has largely remained out of the public eye, Kate's made a brief return to acting in 2001 with a small role in The Anniversary Party, directed by her close friend, Jennifer Jason Lee. However, her focus continues to be on her family and personal life. Phoebe Cates' decision to leave acting at the height of her career exemplifies her dedication to her family and her desire for a more private life. While no longer active in Hollywood, her roles in beloved 1980s films have left an enduring legacy, ensuring she remains a cherished figure in pop culture. Jonathan Taylor Thomas Jonathan Taylor Thomas, often referred to as JTT, rose to fame in the 1990s as a teen heartthrob and child actor. He is best known for his role as Randy Taylor on the hit television show Home Improvement, where his wit and charm made him a fan favorite. Alongside his television success, Thomas provided the voice for young Simba in Disney's iconic animated film The Lion King further solidifying his place as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. At the height of his career, Thomas made the surprising decision to step away from acting. In 1998, while Home Improvement was still a popular show, he chose to leave the series to focus on his education. He later attended Harvard University and Columbia University, prioritizing his academic pursuits over the allure of Hollywood fame. Thomas explained that he didn't want to be known only as a child actor and was eager to explore other aspects of life beyond the entertainment industry. Though he occasionally returned to acting with guest roles on television, including a brief reunion with Home Improvement co-star Tim Allen on Last Man Standing, Thomas has largely stayed out of the limelight. Instead, he turned his attention to work behind the camera, exploring writing, directing, and production. Jonathan Taylor Thomas's choice to prioritize his personal growth and education over continued fame highlights his desire for a well-rounded and fulfilling life. By stepping away from the Hollywood machine at a young age, he set a precedent for child stars seeking to navigate life beyond early success. Today, he maintains a low profile, but his impact as a beloved figure from the 1990s remains strong with fans still fondly remembering his contributions to television and film. Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes, once a beloved child star, gained fame in the late 1990s and early 2000s for her comedic talents and lively personality on Nickelodeon shows like All That and The Amanda Show. She became a staple of family entertainment, impressing audiences with her ability to deliver sharp humor and physical comedy at a young age. Her success on television translated into film roles in movies like She's the Man and Hairspray, where she continued to show her range as an actress. However, in the early 2000s, tens, Bynes faced a series of personal and legal challenges, which were heavily covered by the media. In 2013, she was placed under a conservatorship due to her struggles with mental health and substance abuse. This marked a significant shift in her public life as her once promising career came to a halt. Bynes took a step back from acting and focused on her recovery, which was an ongoing process over several years. In 2022, after nearly a decade, her conservatorship was officially terminated signaling a major milestone in her journey toward reclaiming control of her life. Since then, Bynes has expressed her desire to live outside the spotlight and pursue new interests, including attending the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, FIDM, and working towards becoming a manicurist. 
Amanda Bynes' story is one of early success, followed by personal struggles, but also resilience and a commitment to rebuilding her life on her own terms. While she has distanced herself from Hollywood, her fans continue to support her as she navigates this new chapter. Her journey serves as a reminder of the importance of mental health and personal growth, especially for those who have faced the pressures of fame at a young age. Angus T. Jones Angus T. Jones rose to fame as one of the highest paid child actors in television history for his role as Jake Harper on the long-running sitcom Two and a Half Men. Starting on the show at just 10 years old, Jones's portrayal of the lovable, often clueless son of John Cryer's character quickly made him a household name. His comedic timing and natural charm helped Two and a Half Men become one of the most popular sitcoms on television. However, at the height of his fame, Jones made the surprising decision to step away from the show and Hollywood in general. In 2012, Jones publicly criticized the show, calling its content filth and expressing discomfort with the values it promoted. His comments, which stemmed from a deep spiritual awakening and newfound religious beliefs, shocked fans and signaled his intent to leave the entertainment industry. By 2014, Jones had officially exited the show to focus on his faith and personal life. Following his departure, Jones enrolled at the University of Colorado Boulder, initially studying environmental science before shifting to Jewish studies. He has since expressed contentment with living a life outside the spotlight, preferring the anonymity and freedom that came with stepping away from Hollywood. Though he has hinted at a possible return to acting in the future, Jones has largely remained focused on personal growth and spiritual exploration. Angus T. Jones's journey highlights the challenges of growing up in the entertainment industry and the importance of aligning one's career with personal values. His decision to prioritize his faith and education over fame is a rare move in Hollywood illustrating that even at the height of success, one can choose a path that brings deeper fulfillment. Nikki Blonsky Nikki Blonsky burst onto the Hollywood scene with her breakout role as Tracy Turnblad in the 2007 film adaptation of Hairspray. Her portrayal of the bubbly, optimistic teen who challenges societal norms earned her widespread acclaim including Golden Globe and Critics' Choice nominations. Blonsky's performance alongside stars like John Travolta and Queen Latifah catapulted her to fame, and she became a symbol of body positivity and inclusivity in Hollywood. However, despite her initial success, Blonsky struggled to maintain the same level of prominence in the years that followed. While she continued to take on acting roles, they didn't achieve the same visibility as Hairspray. Faced with the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry, Blonsky decided to pursue a different path outside of acting. She shifted her focus to becoming a licensed cosmetologist, working as a hairstylist and makeup artist. Blonsky expressed joy in helping people feel beautiful, channeling her creativity into a new career. Though she has transitioned into a different profession, Blonsky still occasionally returns to acting. She continues to embrace the legacy of Hairspray, often speaking fondly of the experience and how it shaped her. Blonsky has also become an advocate for LGBTQ rights, speaking openly about her own journey and her desire to support others. Nikki Blonsky's story reflects the reality that success in Hollywood can be fleeting, but personal fulfillment can be found in many forms. By reinventing herself and finding happiness in new endeavors, Blonsky has shown that there are multiple paths to a satisfying life, both inside and outside of the spotlight. Michael Scheffling Michael Scheffling, a heartthrob of the 1980s, gained widespread recognition for his role as Jake Ryan in the iconic teen movie Sixteen Candles. His portrayal of the handsome, kind high school crush made him an instant sensation, and Jake Ryan became a symbol of the ideal boyfriend for a generation of moviegoers. Schuffling also appeared in other notable films, like Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken and Mermaids, where he continued to showcase his acting talent and quiet charisma. 
Despite his growing popularity, Schofling made the decision to step away from acting in the early 1990s. Frustrated with the lack of quality roles and the uncertainties of Hollywood, he left the entertainment industry to pursue a different passion, carpentry. Schofling started his own business, crafting custom furniture and immersing himself in a quieter, more fulfilling career outside the public eye. Schofling's decision to trade fame for a simpler, more private life in Pennsylvania was a surprising move, but it reflects his desire for authenticity and personal satisfaction over the pressures of celebrity. He has since remained out of the spotlight, choosing to lead a low-key life with his family and focusing on his woodworking craft. Though Michael Schaufling left Hollywood behind decades ago, his role as Jake Ryan in Sixteen Candles continues to be celebrated by fans, and his character remains a beloved figure in pop culture. His choice to prioritize a peaceful, fulfilling life over the fleeting nature of fame has only added to the mystique and admiration surrounding him, proving that success can take many forms beyond the silver screen. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, two of the most famous child stars in television history, began their careers as infants, jointly playing Michelle Tanner on the beloved sitcom Full House. Their charm and natural presence quickly won over audiences, making them household names before they were even six years old. As they grew, the twins capitalized on their fame by founding their own production company, Dual Star, producing a string of successful movies and branded merchandise that solidified them as teen icons in the late 1990s and early 2000s. However, as they matured, the Olsen twins made a deliberate decision to step away from acting and Hollywood. In the mid-2000s, they shifted their focus to the fashion industry, where they found immense success. In 2006, they launched their luxury fashion label, The Row, which earned critical acclaim for its minimalist designs and high-quality craftsmanship. The brand has since become a respected name in the fashion world with the Olsons praised for their sharp business acumen and creative vision. Unlike many former child stars, Mary-Kate and Ashley successfully reinvented themselves, transitioning from acting to becoming influential figures in the fashion industry. They have maintained a notably private life, preferring to keep their personal affairs out of the public eye while continuing to expand their fashion empire. The twins are known for their attention to detail and commitment to creating timeless, sophisticated designs, which has garnered them several prestigious awards in fashion. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's journey from child stars to fashion moguls is a rare example of reinvention in the entertainment industry. By choosing to step away from the spotlight and focus on their passion for fashion, they have built a new, highly respected legacy that extends beyond their early fame. The journeys of these stars remind us that fame is only one part of life, and many choose to prioritize personal fulfillment over the spotlight. Whether through family, new careers, or simply stepping away, these celebrities show that there is more to success than staying in Hollywood. If you enjoyed this video and found these stories inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear which celebrity story resonated with you the most. Also, be sure to subscribe to The Famous People for more fascinating insights into the lives of your favorite stars. Your support helps us continue to bring you great content